All right, so in this presentation, we're going to talk about the large area synthesis of high quality and uniform graphene films. All right, so what is graphene? Graphene is, um, it's monolayer sp2 carbon atoms. So think of graphite, how you have the sheets of carbon atoms uh, stacked on top of one another with van der Waals forces in between them. Um, you can just think of graphene as just one of those single layers without the other layers um, present. So it's a, um, it's a bendable and transparent. You can see on the image on the right. Um, has very very interesting optical properties as well as um, mechanical properties. I'll get into that in the next couple of slides. So, what's the hype um, surrounding graphene? Why is it why is it so interesting? Why are scientists, researchers, um, engineers why are they all losing their minds about this molecule? Um, well, first off, it has a lot of uh, interesting electronic properties. Um, First, it's a zero-gap semiconductor. Um, taking a look at the image on the bottom right is generally what, how we think about um, metals, semiconductors, and insulators based on their um, energy. So as we can see in the semiconductor case, it has a very small um, band gap energy. The distance between the valence band and the conduction band is uh, very small. In the case of uh, graphene, that uh, band gap energy is actually zero. So they don't overlap like they would in the case of a metal, but they're like, they're just touching, which um, is very, uh, leads to very interesting properties. Um, in the case of graphene, uh, the conduction and valence band, they meet, uh, they meet at the Dirac point, as you can see in the image uh, on the top right. Um, uh, Fermi uh, electrons at this uh, at this Dirac point are known as uh, Dirac fermions, and in the case of graphene, they're actually massless. They have no mass, which uh, this is why this is the main reason why graphene has uh, such interesting electronic uh, applications. Um, it has incredibly high electron mobility. Um, the electron mobility for graphene is actually uh, 10 million times greater. And that of copper so you can think of electrons traveling through a metal like copper uh, incredibly quick it's about 10 million times faster in uh, graphene so that's, that's crazy that's unbelievable um, another um, property of graphene that uh, scientists are kind of freaking out about is its uh, strength uh, it has a uh, high elastic modulus and intrinsic strength are measured at uh, one terapascal and 130 gigapascals, respectively, and these values mean um, that it's it's roughly 325 times the uh, mechanical strength of steel. So if you think of steel is generally like we think of it as a very you know strong um, you know, strong material that's hard hard to break stuff like that. Uh, graphene is 325 times stronger than that. So that's 